Hello and welcome to the video. This is about importing and converting a PDF into a DWG using AutoCAD. And it's aimed at site plans, which us ARBs have to use. And of course we have to scale it back to one to one ratio because the PDF is likely to have been scaled down to one to 200, one to 500, whatever. So I'll bring in a typical PDF site plan. This one actually has layers, which is nice. Many, many don't. It depends on how the PDF was created as to whether or not you're going to get any layers built in. Um, and it's a typical site plan. It's got a scale bar, but it's also got the OS grid on because you need something some sort of known measurement on the drawing to enable you to scale it later on so we'll start by just importing that first thing you need to do um, is make a new drawing an empty drawing cad lt or a cad if it's on there depends on which version you're using that's the metric or base plan and i always say do your conversion on a separate drawing don't do it on um, a drawing that you're using keep it separate just in case something goes wrong or it locks up um, conversions can take an awful long time when they want to sometimes and you may even have to close down AutoCAD so I'm going to start by clicking import PDF and then right click file and bring in the PDF I was just looking at if the PDF has got multiple sheets you'd see lots of sheets up here and you basically just have to select the sheet you want um, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna let it go wherever it wants use PDF layers keep that one ticked and all these settings are just um, like raster images best to have all these ticked I don't want it as a block so I'll leave that and then I'll just click OK and down on the bottom right you'll see this little blue bar going and you've got to just wait and it can take a long time if it's a big big site so I'll probably cut the video um, and restart in a sec And there we have it. I should just switch off the grid. I don't want to see that. And it converts it as best it can. Um, it's done all these into entities. Sometimes circles don't work. And in this case, they've come out as polylines. This is a sort of last resort converting a PDF. If, you, if the architect won't play ball, give you the DWG plan or the client's drawn it, hand drawn it. This is really your only choice. But they're not perfect, and I would say only use it as a last resort. So now I need to scale this. And we've got a scale bar, but we've also got a grid. 433500, 43, so they're 50 meter grid. And scaling is quite easy, you just select everything right click scale i'm going to use the grid but don't always trust scale bars if you've got a grid use that sometimes you might have a dimension on the drawing use that i'm just going to pick a point on this um this grid they're 50 meters square so i'm just going to click the base point for the scale because it's asked me for the base point there and then you right click reference and our reference will be this distance on the unscaled drawing from there to there and I want that to be 50 so it's asking me for the new length I could pick two points but that would be useless so I'm just going to enter 50 return and it scaled it 
test that. Measuring the grid. And it's come out as 50. 50 50.0212. There's nothing I can do about that. That's probably the PDF conversion slightly out. But there you are. We can check the um, scale bar actually. That's 50. So to scale it, if you've got a grid, I would use that. If you haven't got a grid and you've got a scale bar, use that. Um, or use a known distance. And it's very unlikely you'll see them unless it's like a proposed drawing. They often put dimensions on. So you would use that. So that's it for this one. I'm going to do a few more examples. So I shall... I'll close it off because I want to get rid of all these layers. And this is just shows all the layers that come in. They've been prefixed with PDF underscore. I'll just get rid of this drawing. Open up a new one. And this time I'm going to use this PDF. And you can see quite clearly if you sort of zoom in that this is just a raster image so there'll be no entities and sometimes this is what you're given um, and you either scale it isolate the part of the site sorry you import it scale it isolate the part of the site you want and actually draw over it um, or use it as is but it can become a little bit blurry and poor quality but um if that's all you've got, that's all you've got. So this is a, a raster image turned into a PDF. It may even be a scan. You can see the sort of edge of the page up there. A bit of shading there, so they probably just put it on a scanner. And there's no grid on this, but we have got a scale bar, so that's all we can use. So I shall just import this one. Import PDF style and this is this one so again just uh, there i don't expect to get any layers really f generated apart from the standard ones very quick because if we zoom everything there's only one entity and it's a raster image so there's no entities to click but sometimes this is all you're given so i need to scale this i can't use it as it is because if i measure the i've just got to pick it by eye so that's 50 meters distance is coming out as 0 0.8850 down the bottom here it's, it's not one to one so i'm going to select it right click scale Pick my sort of base point. It doesn't really matter where the base point goes. Reference. And I'm going to pick the longest distance because I might get a bit more accuracy that way. So I'm going to go for 75 meters. And then into 75. We can check that. Seventy-four point nine three oh five. That's close enough. Oops. So that's scaled. And layers wise, yes, yeah, so we only got one layer. And if the site was say this area here, you could actually make a new layer and actually just draw over it. Might take half an hour, you know. Do a little bit just for so you, you just draw the pits you want and you know they're to scale now 
and you just um, delete the raster or move it out of the way. So that's that example. I'm going to do one more. I'll just get set up for that. Hang on a sec. So with this um, this PDF, just zoom in a bit. We haven't got a scale bar, but we have got a grid. Grid markers around the edge. So we've got a distance. I don't know if it's a raster or not at this stage. It might be, but you never know. So let's import this one. Get rid of that. Import PDF file. This one is this one. Leave everything as it is. It's converting it down the bottom. So it has got entities. And it's got layers, which is nice. So I need to scale this one. Um, using this grid at the bottom here, let's go to this, no, I can't go to that corner, so it's between these two points, which is 8150 and 8200, so they're 50 meter, it's a 50 meter grid as well. I'll just select scale, I'll measure it first just so you can see how far out it is. 9.8. And that's got to be 50. So I'll just select it all. Scale. Pick a base point. Right click reference. And I'm going to turn this distance into 50. Of course, if you want it in millimeters, you'd put 50,000. Check the distance now. And it's 50. And that's the best you can do, really. You're at the mercy of scale bars and the grid being correct. And as far as scale bars go, they're not always correct. I've had some drawings where the scale bar is actually wrong. And you can be in all sorts of trouble. So you have to sort of use your common sense, measure things, just get an idea that's saying that this road is nine meters wide. That's a very wide road, but it could be a dual carriageway, who knows? Um, but you need to caveat yourself. You need to say this is being converted from a PDF using the scale bar or grid or whatever, and you don't accept responsibility. Um, one more problem which can arise, such as this one I'm bringing on now, is where there is no scale bar and no grid. And probably no dimensions to help you. And in these cases, you just really, you need to improvise. You need to try and work out something on the site and get an idea of a distance. And again, caveat yourself. If you're going to site to do a survey, you could measure something like you could measure the length of this elevation, the width of the road at a certain point, just to give you an idea of how to scale it. But um, I mean, I've, I've, I've gone on Google Maps before and measured things. Not very accurate, but it's the best. If it's all you've got, then that's all you can do. Because um, you shouldn't be supplied with PDFs. You know, it's up to if, if they've got a PDF with, with a topo on it, then they must have a CAD somewhere. So but sometimes you can get difficult um, architects and clients.
so that's it that's this video finished um hope it's useful thank you very much